friends, welcome back to my channel. My hair is looking a little... For this video, I am testing out, I really, I really have no idea how to pronounce this. Um, Liange? Liange? This is a brush blow dryer is essentially what I'm using it for. So let's talk about what it's supposed to do. It says time to ditch the separate blow dryer and styling brush. Okay. This combines a voluminizing brush and high speed hair dryer into one. The 75 millimeter barrel is specially designed for hair that is shoulder length or longer. Smooth, tug resistant bristles grip the hair. That I that's a fact. I feel like that's true. Giving you just the right amount of tension to create sleek styles with maximum body and lift. Adjustable airflow lets you control the heat and speed while the titanium plates gently smooth hair to shiny frizz free perfection. Now you can craft the perfect blowout at home or on the go with one easy to use styling tool minus costly trips to the salon. Features. DC motor. I don't know what that means. If that means something to you, it's got a DC motor. 75 millimeter titanium barrel. Ionic technology helps reduce heat damage, comfortable lightweight design, combination bristles to help reduce tangles, professional nine feet power cord, that's nice, even if you're not a professional. Easy twist handle with three heat settings and LED indicator light. Vented body allows for maximum airflow, ergonomic comfort grip handle, and includes protective storage cover and cleaning brush, which is kind of nice. So um, let's get into the video. My hair has been washed and deep conditioned, so there's nothing in it. And it's looking like the kind of like round brush situation but I'm not gonna use it like that because that's not what my hair my hair's not gonna end that way so I have to straighten it anyway I very rarely uh, blow dry my hair once I'm actually out of the shower usually I braid it in two braids overnight and then blow dry it but I I have noticed that my hair doesn't convert as easily if it's sort of straightened throughout the blow dry process. So uh, it just sort of makes it last longer, I've noticed. So I'm gonna use the OGX Coconut Milk, Millie, thank you, serum. She's tripping, I think she sees a bunny. I'm just gonna do one pump for my whole head for now. Cause I sort of add it in throughout different, different steps. And then my hair's not fully parted down in the middle, but. Okay, let's see what this thing is working with. Side note, if you have any suggestions for dry scalp shampoo, I'm always down to hear them. Right now I'm using Head & Shoulders. I don't use it every time I shampoo my hair. Um, and I coat my hair in conditioner before I use it. But if you have any other suggestions, please let a girl know. Okay, I know it's a brush, but I feel like I just need to, you know, get it started. All right, let's try this. How? How does one try this? Um, I'm gonna do low. I don't have the patience for low, I'm going to high. Okay, so high is definitely hotter than low um so it's off cool low and high i kind of wish there was a hot what am i trying to say like temperature control not just power control but i usually don't have patience for low i just wish it could be like high but medium temperature but we'll keep playing around with it. I think what I might do is start off with high and then use the low. 
once it's like mostly dry. Okay, I think also this metal part gets pretty decently warm. Like I can touch it, but not like for a long time. Um, which I'm sure helps with straightening out the hair, which is probably super useful for people who don't have like naturally curly hair, but maybe have naturally wavy hair and can just use this tool and go. I mean, technically I could use this tool and go, but my hair is not designed that way. So the attachment that I use with my blow dryer causes me to hold my blow dryer a different way, right? Just the way that it's designed. This definitely feels a lot better on my wrist and just more natural to like brush my hair, even if I'm doing it and like different directions it feels better than having this thing that I sort of then have to move this way I don't know and it's further away from my head this just feels a little bit more natural so that's nice we love things to feel a little more natural I do like the pattern of using the high heat first and then just kind of going down to medium heat The only time I like to feel that my hair is actually hot hot is from my straightener. I definitely think that in the future I'm totally okay with just <laughs> sleeping with my hair in braids at night and doing it in the morning. Just because when my roots are really wet, I just feel like it takes a long time to do my hair because it's so dense that it's hard to get to my roots. Um, so, yeah. Another thing that's really nice, this is redundant, I don't need to comb my hair before, but it just feels like I'm supposed to because I'm so used to it. Another thing that's really nice is it forces you to go in the downward motion, um, which closes the cuticle, which helps with like shine and smoothness. So I like that. Okay, we're almost done. I'm liking it. I'm getting a bit of a... My arm's getting a little lazy, but that's just because I never usually have to blow dry my hair for this long. Um, another perk though for blow drying it when it's actually wet is sometimes when I braid it at night and then blow dry it in the morning, my ends are a little more fluffy than I'd like them to be. And so it kind of creates a little bit of friction when I'm trying to straighten, which means my ends don't always get as straight as I'd like them to. So both have their pros, both have their cons. I kind of wish this also just had buttons so that I could do it one handed, but I need to like use my other hand to twist it. This also gets a nice grip. The bristles are not just like the the hard metal or plastic, I think they're plastic bristles, but they also have kind of like the boar bristles in them. This side is frizzier than 
this side and I feel like that's just kind of always how my hair is. So let's talk about pros and cons. Um, my roots are a little, they're usually always pretty curly right there, but anyway. So a pro is that I like that it grips my hair. Um, I don't feel like it's gonna just like let go of my hair because of the way that the bristles are set up. Another pro is it feels really comfortable and natural in my hand, even though I hate blow drying my hair and holding things up, my arm does get tired, but that's because I'm not really used to blow drying my hair from like soaking wet right out of the shower. Usually it's pretty dry by the time I blow dry it. I do like that there is a high, low, and cool setting, and the cool setting seems to be like cool temperature but high power. I just wish that there were some similar options for high and low like low temperature but high power and high temperature and high power or high temperature and low power, you know what I'm saying. Um, I wish that there were more options on that but um, I do like that there is a high, low and cool so that is still a, a, a pro for me because I caught. I also like this knob up here. This is another pro for me because I can actually just like use it to help me like when, just if my hand gets tired so that's nice and this doesn't actually get hot. The base also doesn't get hot, and I think that that's another pro because sometimes we have to be really careful where we touch our hot tools. If they're made cheaply, then sometimes the handle gets really hot. And this doesn't get hot. The closer you get to this, if you're using it on high, this does get hot, and so you can sort of feel it in like here where the name is, um, but it's just kind of like warm it's not like super hot I do kind of like that this is metal because I just because there's airflow coming out of both sides I'm not sure if like maximum airflow is coming out of both sides if you know what I'm saying um, and so I do kind of like that this gets warm so that it just helps with the drying process I don't know if that could lead to any sort of damage along the road but I do think it's important to just figure out what your heat settings are and work with that as best as you can. I know that oftentimes blow dryers just have a lot of plastic, which I think could probably be a little bit healthier for your hair. Honestly, I don't really know, but I think it just depends on what this sort of metal is made out of, which according to their packaging is Ionic Technology. Um, this is a titanium barrel, so I don't know much about whether that's like better or worse for your hair, but somebody probably does in the comments. I think this is gonna take place I think this is gonna be better than my other blow dryer, to be honest, specifically because I really just, I like the grip of it. It's supposed to be a little bit lightweight. I mean, it's not super heavy for its size. I don't know if it's more lightweight than like my other blow dryer. And yeah, I can't remember any pros that I named throughout the video, but um, if I missed any, just go ahead and put them down below if you would like to. I would say the number one con for me is just that I, I want more settings. I, I want I want more. I like that there are some, but I just need more. Because for me, like the high gets like really hot. Like my hair was hot. And the only time I want to feel that is from my straightener. And I know that this is supposed to replace that, but for my hair, that's not going to work. So in order to make a tool a little bit more inclusive, I would like to see it have more settings so that I wouldn't have to worry about my hair getting as hot because with my hair, I'm going to have to use a straightener regardless I mean some people are like you don't have to do that but um I do also notice that I have like more volume than like just my normal straightener I mean with my other blow dryer so I, that might go away once I straighten it my hair gets usually my hair usually gets pretty flat once I straighten it but that's besides the point am I even recording so yeah I think that's about it I'm going to now straighten my hair and probably give it another little trim you are supposed to put it back in its little basically a dust cover for a blow dryer, which is really nice. I do think that this would be nicer to, to pack if I'm traveling than just your average blow dryer because for me, like that just has other attachments that I wanna use for it, plus a brush. Um, and this is nice. I didn't actually have to use my comb while I was going through my hair, but like it's just natural. So eventually I'll probably get out of that habit. And I think it did a nice job getting to my scalp too, because like I said, usually my scalp my, the hair towards my scalp, like my roots are usually pretty dry because of how I sleep with it overnight in braids and then I blow dry it, but um, it did a pretty good job getting to my roots despite the fact that my hair is really dense and so getting to my roots when it's soaking wet is it's a hard task. 
Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know if you've tried it or if you've tried anything similar that has kind of changed your stretched hair game. And I'll see you in my next video. I love you even if you don't love me back. Bye.